We were Scott and Shelley with our faithful Australian shepherd, Buddy, doing the adventure of a lifetime, America's Great Loop. Welcome to Mobile, Alabama. On our journey down the river, our stuffing box continuously overheated and Scott tried multiple times to find the core of the problem and address it. Unfortunately, it turns out that our motor and propeller shaft were misaligned and required a major repair. This also meant pulling the boat out of the water to fix the issue. We were hoping for just a couple days of delay. It turned into a 12-day repair. To help reduce the cost and help move the project along, Scott did some of the work himself. I'll be honest, we felt a little discouraged. It's an older boat, and while we had budgeted 20% of the cost of a boat for repairs, we had already made some previous repairs and wondered if this would continue forever. She had been well loved by her last owners, but she still is an old boat. Thankfully, a delivery captain that we know put it in perspective for us. He said every boat needs constant work and repairs, even brand new and expensive ones. On the positive, we again met up with Kevin, who had, we had traveled with on the river system. We decided to rent a car and drive over to the other side of Mobile Bay for a couple of days. We visited Fairhope, Orange Beach, and the Gulf Shores, all beautiful and worth the trip. This is the Wharf Marina in Orange Beach, Alabama. There's a shopping complex, Ferris wheel. As we were coming up toward intimidating golf crossing and I had free time, I also decided to take the Boat US Foundation free boat safety course. Even though I've been boating for years, I learned a lot and I now have the certification required by some states. After I finished this course, I went through the boat and discovered we had expired flares and our EPIRB was not yet registered. All of that got fixed real fast. Should be, yep.
We don't have a need for a bolt like this. Yeah, but we don't have a need to do this. Yeah. And we're heading out to Mobile Bay, heading towards Pensacola, Florida. Our destination is Ingram Bay, um, which I believe is in Orange Beach. And we're going to do an anchorage there. One or two nights, depending on the weather. Again. Ingram's Bayou was a refreshing change after being in a working marina for 12 days. The dolphins make their rounds every morning and evening looking for fish. After all the pushing to get south to warmer weather, we decided to slow it down a little and we stayed an extra day at this anchorage, doing absolutely nothing at all. This is the Gulf and Trecoastal Waterway in Orange Beach, Alabama. Shortly we will be in Florida. We will be by the Navy Air Base where the Blue Angels practice. So we're pretty excited about that. Well, this one up ahead is called Pass Christian.
kind of going in front of mine. I would say that Cumberland was something. So big the hair doesn't. No. We have this wild island all to ourselves. We explored, observed the wildlife, and enjoyed our picnic of gourmet peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. The sand here is white and refined, the sky a sapphire blue, and the water perfect. There are many islands like this along the Emerald Coast. Trust it. It's amazing the ears. It's got like rabbit ears. Big old tail. Mm -hmm. Hey, armadillo! Armadillo! Moving around for something. Looking back on it, I wish we would have slowed down and savored this area at just a bit slower pace. We thought we had a good weather window to cross the gulf, and we made the mistake of traveling with a schedule, a cardinal no-no in the boating world. That weather window changed and closed anyway. A lesson learned. Trying to figure out what these paw prints are. But he's a good boy. Yeah, but he is a good boy. 
Yep. much calmer here. Dolphin cruises. Right here, this is it. Harbor Walk Marina, fuel dock. Go right in there. This autopilot down here. I'm kind of wondering if it's programmed a little bit different than the one upstairs. The one upstairs holds better. It starts going crazy once in a while. They say that no loop trip is complete without a grounding, and Apalachicola is where we did ours. We were so excited to see a town dock that we forgot to check the chart first or see the green buoy, 
and bam, we were stuck on a sandbar. We brought the dinghy around to the front of the boat and dropped the anchor into it. Scott was going to dinghy out and drop the anchor and we would then try to winch the boat off the sandbar. When the anchor and half the chain were in the dinghy, I looked around and noticed that we were now slowly floating closer to the boats tied to the wall, which meant we were no longer aground. We quickly dropped the anchor, restarted the motor, and moved out to the anchorage. We joked that we were the town entertainment for the day. When you come into Apalachicola, don't go straight to the wall, go down and around. Oh!